We live in a world where the truth is being perverted through lies. People do not know to do right anymore. Wickedness and sinfulness has become the standard. To live in sin and immorality has become normal. Homosexuality and abortion is commonplace. Many children are born from fornication and adultery. They are born out of wedlock. They grow up in households where the parents are divorced. They have no example of godliness. Even the churches that should be the standard of morality and decency are immoral, wicked. Instead of preaching repentance and obedience to Jesus Christ, they say we are all sinners. And people believe that they cannot stop sinning. They do not believe the truth. They believe lies. This generation is lost. Because the truth is that the wages of sin is death. The soul that sins will perish. Without holiness, no man shall see God. This generation is doomed and destined to hell. If they do not repent, if they do not turn from wickedness, stop sinning and obey God. It is not the will of God that any man perish, but that all repent from their wickedness and that they live. Jesus Christ came to take away the sins of the world. He came to set the world free from the bondage of sin. And if the Son of God has set you free, you will be free and free indeed. You will not be a slave to sin anymore. Because if you sin, you will perish. But if you accept Jesus Christ, then he makes you new inside. You are born again of the Spirit of God. And sin, filth and wickedness is not normal to you anymore. You hate sin. You want to be clean. You run from wickedness. And you seek to be pleasing to God. The only one who can save you is Jesus Christ. But if you do not want to be saved, He cannot save you. If you do not realize how lost you are, and if you do not call out to Him with everything that is in you, and go after Him, turn away from sin, and cling to Jesus. Stay with them until the end. Then you will perish. Because if you sin, you will burn. Jesus Christ is the only one who can save you. If you want to be saved. If you want eternal life. But if you want to stay in your sin and immorality and filth, then you will perish. The choice is ours. The door is still open. We can call on Jesus. We can go to Him. We can ask Him to make us new, to forgive our sins, to make us children of God. Or we can stay as we are, and then we will perish. If 
if you want to be saved, you have to run to Jesus before it is too late. Because the door will close and then you will knock and he will not open because it will be forever too late. Jesus wants to save you from sin if you want to be saved. Run to him while you still can. Repent of your sin. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Master. Be baptized in water for the washing off of your sin. Sin no more. Be holy, be righteous. Ask Jesus for his Holy Spirit to be with you and in you and to guide you into all truth so that you can be saved from eternal damnation. Do you want to be saved? Go on your knees right where you are and cry out to Jesus. Go after him before it is forever too late. May Jesus bless you.